Hello! In this tip video I'd like to show you how I go about painting the super complex juicy insides of a fig. As usual I'm referring to a photograph I've taken myself. My drawing needs to be a contour drawing where I map out the main boundaries between areas of different hues, for instance browns and pinks, and different tones or values. The issue here is that we have a lot of detail to try to capture. I didn't draw it all out, but I did draw a lot out, and the more detail you do draw, the easier the painting is. Also, the more you enlarge the photograph and your painting, the easier capturing this detail becomes too. So firstly, I laid down a very pale wash over each area of a different hue, except for those areas which I thought might need to be as light in tone as the paper itself. Next I go straight in with my darkest tones right in the centre with a really small brush so I have plenty of control. The paint needs to be really thick for this. The next thing I want to do is to get my head around what is actually going on with all this detail and to make sure that I don't accidentally paint over an area that should be left pale or should be a different hue. So I choose a pink mix that is darker than my first wash but not very dark and I start to apply this to all areas that are this hue and tone or darker. The process of which actually starts to show me what's going on. I then change this mix to match the hue of the orangey area too. Next I go in with a darker mid-tone mix, just a little lighter than my very darkest mix, and I apply this to the areas that need it. I then dilute this mix and I alter the hues within it as I work on the slightly lighter mid-tones. It's important to use a really vibrant red here so that the fig will have the juicy glow that we're after. Now that I've darkened the darker mid-tones I can see that my lighter tones are too light. So I use a slightly bigger brush and I darken them with a pale wash. I leave only the brightest shiniest highlights. Once that's done and the dark skin is painted, I can see that I need to darken the darkest tones again, so I add another thick layer to the areas within them that need to be darker. Then I work to darken areas of the darker mid-tones and the lighter mid-tones again, having the effect of adding more detail as I do so. Once the darker whole fig is painted, it shows me that the darkest tones should again be darkened in some areas. So I go through the same process a third time for all the different tones, continuously altering my hue mixes as I do so to make sure I capture all the different hues from pinks to oranges to browns and reds. By carefully observing my reference photo, I add to the fine detail I laid the foundation for with my drawing and spending the time to get the balance between light and dark tones right is what gives this complex centre its shiny, juicy 3D look. It's a time-consuming process, taking in total a good few hours, but if you're like me and you find painting detail both therapeutic and rewarding, I totally recommend you have a go at painting the insides of a fig. If you'd like to paint both the inside and outside of this fig, I have a full, real-time, step-by-step video tutorial where I show you how to do it in thorough detail, available via my online school. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit watercolourswithwow.com where you can sign up for a free step-by-step -step tutorial, check out the materials I recommend, view more tip videos, upload your own work to a gallery, and lots more. Thanks for watching.